Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain, and today I'm going to show you a Cydia application that you must have if you jailbreak and go through the process and you want to save yourself a lot of headaches and a lot of time. I realize it's a more expensive tweak. I think it's $9.99 now, but it's the best 10 bucks you can spend for your jailbreaking experience, and it's called Package Backup. And it's in the Big Boss repo. Now, right there is what it is. They've just updated their icon. It was a little bluer than that, but now it's sort of a paler blue. I apologize for the dog barking, guys, but we'll try to get through this. It won't take that long. Uh, underneath the settings menu, package backup. Installs a few things. You can set it to scan applications. That is your applications you download from the iTunes store which I don't do I got a lot of applications on mine but I do want it to scan all of my Cydia packages and and I, I also have it do an automatic backup because I'm notorious for, for forgetting a backup the best thing you can do is set a schedule and it does allow you to do that and you can even set it to back up and restore events here integrate it with your calendar as well and also it's got reset all settings down here at the bottom you can activate that but don't mess around with that anyway right up here at the top these are your primary iCloud space free space and device free space check all that sound and vibrations only when plugged in only when on a Wi-Fi um, outside that there's not much else you need to worry about. Let's open it up and look inside the actual application. I'm going to let you see what I'm going to do now. I actually just restored my device earlier this morning, and it, uh, it didn't have with the one tweak on it that you saw package backup. So now what we're going to do, we're going to come in here, and we're going to go to View, Restore, down here at the bottom, the main bottom down here. We're going to tap that, and then we're going to tap the little box right there to the right of that and it's going to pop up every backup that we have now the backups that we can use see I have some things on here that are from my iPad but it won't show those under here anyway See, I had an automatic backup on 8.3, but I'm going to go back to 7.28 because I think that's the last time I actually backed it up properly. And I'm going to select that. Then I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to tap All Packages. Down at the bottom, I tapped All Packages. Okay. Now, you see right here I've got 126 App Store apps on there. I don't necessarily want to back those up here because I back those up in iTunes. That's why I don't scan them. Alright, so let's do the restore. And as you can see, it's updating our repos. And it saves your repos, your package, your city of packages, it saves everything guys and it uploads it when you back it up it uploads it to Dropbox or you can back it up and save it yourself on your computer which I recommend you actually do both this process may take a few minutes so what I'll do is when the, when we get done here I'll turn the camera back on and show you what's happening so don't go away All right, guys, um, I went ahead and rebooted the device, but I haven't turned it on or anything since uh, since it rebooted. It's been a black screen. Now we're going to turn it on for the first time and see how everything looks together. Okay. Okay, I can already tell you before we go any further that package backup did what it was supposed to do simply because my Zeppelin is installed. 
I know that because that little iPhone Captain logo up at the top left corner is there. My IntelliScreen X is working. All right, let's move on in beyond that. I see several Cydia tweaks that are have been installed. Activator, IntelliScreen X, SP settings. So if we go under settings to see just exactly what all was installed, okay, now you see there's a list of several more items here. And these are items that were included in the last backup that I, that I restored to. So what I will need to do now is once I get my device like I want it again, is do a backup, and then if something goes wrong, restore back to that backup. So guys, keep this tweak or application in mind because it's going to save you a lot of headaches. And don't forget, come over to iPhoneCaptain.com, FreeCityOfTweaks.com, updated daily. Hit that subscribe button before you...